If you want to add these floating social media buttons to your WordPress website, then you're going to want to add a plugin called Sumo. So basically, we're going to log into WordPress, head down to plugins, add new, go up top and type Sumo. You then find this Sumo app here by Sumo Me. Click install now, activate. And if I scroll down the left here, there's an area called Sumo. I click on that and I now just want to connect up. So I hit connect and we're gonna to need to actually sign up for an account with Sumo. So I'm just gonna sign up using one of my accounts. And now Sumo is connected. So now I head down to my apps. And remember if you get lost, just head down the left here to Sumo and then dashboard, go to my apps. I'm gonna say, no thanks. I go to extras and share. I activate now and it'll take me to this area here and I can go across to settings and I can choose which services I want. So at the moment, I have email, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter. I can actually add in things such as WhatsApp, although I don't have WhatsApp, so I'm gonna move that back. I can do Reddit, LinkedIn, Buffer. And let's say I don't really care too much for Google Plus considering it doesn't exist anymore. And I can actually go through and add in any services I want here. And I can also change the appearance, how to sort the share buttons, how many services should be displayed on the share bar. We can have six or more. We can actually sort it by smart or manual. So you actually manually sort the order. I'm gonna keep it as smart. And you can pretty much keep a lot of these as default, but if you wanna go through and customize some of the settings like the padding, the spacing, the colors, I would go through and do that. Now share counts, if you don't wanna show that you've only had three shares on a blog post, you can make it a minimum of 100. So it will only show the share counts if you've got at least 100 on that. And I click save. And now I can go up to layout and I can see where it'll display on my website. So on the on my desktop, it will display on the left-hand side. On my phone, it will display at the bottom. I can also click top if I want to and click settings and enable this to override my global settings and do things like that. I can change where it's laid out. However, I want to keep just the one here, but I can keep turning these on if I want to and put them into different areas. But for now, I like the left panel for desktop, the bottom for phone, and I can also go inline sharing. I want to add, to, I want to add some inline sharing and add in other ways. I can actually put it into the body of my website so it shows up on the website. Mobile optimize, so you can set up different selection services just for your mobile customers by turning that on. And so I can have SMS on there, WhatsApp, Twitter. I can actually do that. I'll click save. I can now also go to my display rules and add in some rules of where it should or shouldn't show. So if I go add new rule, I can show on all pages or not show. So I can add in a page or a homepage or an article page, certain devices, uh, depending on the size. So if you're finding it's overlapping some content when it gets to a certain size, you can change that size. Anything smaller than 480, you can actually enable it to not show. So you can go through and adjust settings as to when this will actually display. You can add in things like a query, that kind of thing, if you want to add that. But uh, so you can actually choose when and when not to show this if you want to explore that. And of course, with your services, you do want to connect up some of these things. So if Twitter, I can put in my Twitter username. I can suggest others. I can also connect up to my Facebook page and go from there. So we're pretty happy with that. I'm gonna head back to the website. So I've tabbed back to my website since those settings opened in a separate tab. I go up the top here to visit my site. And you'll now see the shares have popped up on the left here. There's also this panel over here because I'm actually logged into Sumo that shows up. I can just close that for now. That won't be shown to public visitors, I don't believe, but I now have these floating share buttons that people can use to share my website or my blog posts. And if I switch to phone, you can see it switched to the bottom as we set up. So that's pretty much it. I have barely changed any settings and I think that has turned out pretty well. But uh, so you can go through, check out those settings. They're pretty straightforward to understand. Set them up as you want and then you can very quickly and easily set up your own floating social media icons and um, get more people sharing your blog posts and your website. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider giving the video a like. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you again soon.